And before we continue with the examination of fair dealing, it should be noted that fair dealing should not be confused with fair use, which is a legal framework used in other countries like America and Australia and is exclusive to these countries. Fair dealing is a UK legal framework designed to allow the lawful use of copyright protected work without having to seek permission from the author or curator under certain circumstances. There is no legal or statutory definition of what fair dealing is. However, the Copyrights Design and Patent Act 1988 does refer to some case law, and a case law is a legal test, which does provide some factors that should be considered when you're trying to decide if a use is considered fair or not. We'll now examine these factors by directly quoting them from the CDPA and examining them further. Factor 1. Start quote. Does using the work affect the market for the original work? If a use of a work acts as a substitute for it, causing the owner to lose revenue, then it is not likely to be considered fair. End quote. So in other words, will using the work impact the owner or rights holder negatively financially? And if so, the use is less likely to be considered fair. Factor 2. Start quote. Is the amount of the work taken reasonable and appropriate? Was it necessary to use the amount that was taken? Usually only part of a work may be used. End quote. In other words, only use the amount of the work that is required to fulfil your purpose. And to give an example of this, um, if all you require is a two minute extract from a ten minute video to prove your teaching point, or for you to criticise and review, then just use that two minutes. There's no need to use the whole ten minutes if only two minutes is required to fulfil your purpose. Factor 3, start quote. Unless it's impossible to do so for reasons of practicality, you must provide attribution, in brackets, credit, when making use of someone else's work. End quote. But one circumstance where you might not be able to provide attribution is if you're using, let's say, images as part of an exam, and by providing credit to the creator of the image, it may reveal an answer to a question. There may be a possible legal argument to not include or provide attribution to the creator. That's just uh, one such e example. This concludes the video focusing on UK fair dealing. Um, please view the follow-up video around UK copyright exceptions. Thank you for your time.